okay now we are enter into the section i'm welcome you all to this seventh day of chair online uh, training last 6 days uh, means last 5 uh, days we are discussed about the cell cell communication cell signaling that kind of part continue to that topic now we are going to discuss about the topic basic concept of developmental biology this is very important part in uh, our uh, csr examination because uh, base uh, they are asking the question majorly from the four different four four uh, three different subject that is unit 4 unit 5 and unit 13 in this chapter they are asking a number of questions so only we are uh, start the section with this three topics this concept developmental biology what is developmental biology it's uh, this term is new to the biotechnology people biochemistry people and microbiology people but zoology and uh, uh, no some other uh, zoology oriented subjects people may know what is developmental biology uh this is a base uh, in in this presentation i am going to explain with the basic concept in uh, developmental biology this developmental biology fully covered with the uh, topic uh, the human cell development uh, how how the uh, human cell developed in uh, embryo uh, from embryo to the the whole uh, uh body tissues that is the basic concept in this uh, ba- uh, developmental biology uh, small uh, small small important terms are there that terms are explained with uh, potency commitment specification induction competency determination differentiation morphogenesis these kind of words are the basic words of uh, developmental biology that a uh, basic concepts i'm um, in this presentation on one hour i'm going to cover the two topics uh, uh, as usual i say i, uh, I said this is not uh, ab- uh, not covered by this one hour i am not able to cover the whole whole topic in one hour i'm just a give a introduction to you uh, please uh, refer the materials and uh, g- you can get a better knowledge now i am enter into the topic okay what is developmental biology the small you know, one one line word the pattern formation the body tissue formation or uh, it's a uh, uh, embryo to the human body development the developmental biology uh, combinationally explained with uh, different stages uh that uh, stages are uh, going to uh, be uh, part of it in the developmental biology the process of embryogenesis involved in the coordinated cell fate control what is cell fate control what is cell fate that cell fate which means uh, uh, the cell having the specific uh, uh, fixed functional development okay this cell, this cell uh, can be developed as a epithelial cell this cell can be developed as a or a macrophage cell that are the already fixed one uh, that are endangeredly fixed by the uh, nature that cells are not able to produce uh, not able to form some other uh, tissues so that cells are not able to form to uh, some other parts that uh, uh, the cell fate control that is the control okay embryo embryo can develop in various uh, stage where it that develop develop to various cells that's all all in a cell fate control uh, this why i am stress this word means because upcoming slides i am uh, repeatedly uh, in, including this words so only i am telling okay next in the developmental biology the pattern formation is a very very important one okay, what is a pattern pattern uh, if uh, uh, the pattern formation is major final step in the developmental biology 
but uh, uh, the pattern formation is depends on the period uh, previous steps that previous step means the uh, embryo embryo formation development embryo tissue uh, embryo to tissues formation tissues to organ formation everything having the uh, everything are all involved in the pattern formation okay cell uh, okay pattern formed because uh, no yes uh, previously we discussed the cell communication right that cell cell communication is a major thing happen in the cell uh, pattern formation uh, due to that cell cell communication alone that pattern is formed in the uh, under it develop the organs so that previous unit and this unit are partially interlinked okay now i am going to uh, discuss the in important topics important terms the process of development what is the process of development the in the process we have determination and differentiation okay uh, these two terms are uh, very important determination what is determination <coughs> this de uh, de determination is first we want to know the embryonic cell can be develop it is possible to develop develop it have the uh, whether it whether to have a potential or not so uh, the uh, early embryonic cell is determined by the developmental potential is greater than the developmental fate we want if the rate is the developmental fate want to be higher than the developmental uh, potential <coughs> Oh, sorry. Uh, developmental potential want to greater than the developmental fate, and then after the embryonic cell development, that later period, the determine uh, cell, the developmental fate is fixed. Uh, after the particular stage, that not able to uh, determine. The determined cell is eventually differentiate. After the determine, okay, it, uh, this embryo is ready for. the development at a particular next enter into the next level that is the differentiation level maturation level okay so first level of embryogenesis the first level of dasis is determination first we want to understand the potency of the embryonic cell after it getting the potency at enter uh, that allow to develop that is the differentiation differentiation means multiplication and uh, it's an group formation okay the another definition i am explained here because uh, i'm refer many things in uh, internet but uh, that period i am receiving some uh, more informational slides so i am included in this uh, presentation uh first determination when a cell is choose a particular fate okay or uh, we can't uh, the embryonic cell uh, that uh, uh, we we are not uh, all the cells can be produced uh, uh, the human uh, tissue human cells human tissues some of them alone some of them have alone having the potency so first is the determination that is the uh, selection process it happen via the signaling process in upcoming slides of uh, i will explain how the what is the signaling process happen in the determination process determination is a uh, receiving of the potent cell through the cell signaling okay after determination uh, after determination the cell can be differentiate in the uh, differentiate via cell signaling uh, in the cell signaling process uh, uh, different cell signaling process in this step that uh, cell can uh, differential the gene expression so, so the gene expressing many protein that proteins are make the signals uh, and communicate with the other cells that cells are uh, produce that uh, inducing induction induction inducing the 
uh, cell division. So, in this, after the dis uh, determination, induction happen in the genetic in the genetic material that uh, that induction is differentiates via the induction. Okay, uh, induction is a very important term in the. Uh, differentiation step okay we are some biotechnology people may know what is induction induction uh, uh, once we are uh, added the gene in a particular uh, recombinant we uh, we will do the induction on the cell after the induction that cell can produce particular specific protein that ha naturally happen in our human body that is the induction in determination step and induction and differentiation step induction and differentiation uh, determination step that induction happen as a receptor protein. Receptor protein means that uh, normal cells are uh, maybe lack of the protein. So induction happens for producing the uh, the receptors uh, self, uh, on the cell surface, psychote cell surface. So the psychote cell surface having many receptor proteins. That uh, that proteins want to be in active signaling uh, pathway. That signals are indexed in the induced by the uh, internal genetic gene expression so the first become determined via the induction determine determination also happen via induction uh, another thing is a differentiation via uh, induction okay now the this is the five thumb rule of the cell developmental biology uh, uh, it's uh, all thing happens all things are explained with this five points alone okay uh, the first one is growth growth is helps to increase the size okay increase the size of uh, the cell another one is cell division it's increase the cells count of the cells uh, third one is differentiation it's a differentiation of cell type Okay, uh, that embryo want to develop into epithelial cell, uh, uh, endothelial cell, everything we want that want to develop, right? That is the differentiation, diver uh, diversification uh, that want to develop into diverse cell types. Okay, next fourth one is pattern formation. Uh, that is a uh, key role playing uh, step. That is organization. Another thing is the morphogenesis. In this morphogenesis, uh, the generation of shape and structure. Okay, after uh, forming the uh, pattern that want to develop in the particular shape and structure. Okay, after this uh, uh, steps happen in uh, um, or ha happen to embryo, that embryo called as the adult um, adult. Okay. After this adult stage, that is called as the gametes. First is zygote. From that zygote, uh, we uh, that embryo develop into all the stage. After reaching the particular four steps, that is uh, into enter into the adult stage. Then adult is called gamete stage. So five thumb rule of uh, our. Uh, okay. Next, uh, first step we uh, I'm told right differentiation happens. A differentiation happens in two way. One way is a diverge of developmental route. Another way is the individual development route. In why I am telling this in different way uh, means because the different uh, divergent cells development helps uh, that way kind of is helps to form various uh, tissues okay but individual cell development it helps to the individual tissue cells individual cells development okay uh, first uh, first image uh, ha one cell having the diverse uh, diversely uh, uh, located constituents. These constituents are determined, uh, the further determined by the mutual interaction. 
ओके दिस रीजन इंटरेक्ट विथ सेम सेम प्रो सेम सेल बट दिस कलर्ड इंटरेक्ट रीजन इंटरेक्ट विथ सेम रीजन द वाइट रीजन इंटरेक्ट विथ ए वाइट रीजन दट ब्लू रीजन इंटरेक्ट विथ ब्लू रीजन दिस कैंड ऑफ प्रोसेस हैपन इन दी फॉर द डिटर्मिनेशन आफ्टर द डिटर्मिनेशन स्टेप primary determination that tended to the final determination that is the commitment the commitment word is very important thing in the developmental biology after the potency potency potential identification the first step first step is a potency okay red cell uh, red color want to interact like a, interact with like that uh, cells are formed as okay uh, in uh, developing the specific character representing red color and then green color represent that green color represent a specific character that cell having the specific properties that, that is able to produce into specific uh, uh, formations next after the specific character development in the embryo that want to uh, pro, commit that want to uh, enter into final determination in this final determination that cells are having the specific commitment that cells want to uh, group group of the same similar cells that the same similar character cells are need to be uh, develop a specific organs this specific organs are uh, exp uh, the so this diverge of development the root we have three different step mutual interaction determination the commitment determination that is final determination then the terminal differentiation the individual cells are develop into different organs tissues that is the epidermic tissues nerve cells and uh, muscles is that kind of us it's a differentiation of divergence of the compound why i am stressing the steps means they are given the uh, steps uh, steps in various form specification determination final commitment and the differentiation these are the four step in divergence of developmental route specification mutual interaction that is the determination then commitment terminal differentiation uh you want to uh, take this four step into your brain because uh, they are given is in order Re they uh, you want to arrange this order for further uh, they give a uh, mix mixly they are uh, provided in uh, your uh, options from that options you need to find out the correct order as in this uh, kind of question they are asking uh some direct and uh, uh, the asymmetric symmetric way that kind of way ascending order descending order that kind of confusions are there also so please uh, you know understand the steps that is want to specific determination commitment differentiation okay next winter on to the individual cell development here there is no uh, the determination step it's uh, very important here there is uh, uh, compared to the uh, divergent of development individual development with the individual development that individual development ha don't have the determination step the, the, that is uh, one determination step the mutual interaction is not there only one determination step that called as a commitment specification only one cell is committed to the cell division that cell uh, then third step is a differentiation specification commitment differentiation that is a, a specification only one determination method and different terminal differentiation that terminal after the terminal dif differentiation that is formed a neuronal cells these are all the uh, very important thing this individual cell development happen with the unipotent stem cell very important uh, term very repeatedly asked question that individual cell development happen with the unipotent cell uh, unipotent cell means that is only specifically producing particular cells alone okay uh, i think it's a basic introduction i'm 
and uh, now move to the next slide okay in this uh, after uh, understanding the specification uh, that uh, developmental process first we want to understand what is commitment commitment is uh, in a developmental biology means we want that is that cell is committed okay that want to produce some tissues okay uh, they having the four different stages next stage after the cytoplasmic determinant that is called a specified cell specified stage uh, after particular period that the loss of competence of alternative fates that is a fast a positive okay uh, we uh, we uh, that cells produce the enough amount of tissues okay stop that is a positive feedback loop after that determination determined that uh, then space cell specified gene expression happen in the uh, particular cell that is differentiated into various tissues in this commitment we have a three different uh, uh, specifications that is the autonomous specification conditional specification syncytial specification syncytial specification okay uh, what is specification at uh, the point the cell developed autonomously that is cell specific tissues one cell can develop to specific tissues that is called as the uh, specification okay uh, it this is i uh, please imagine this is a group of cells it's a it's a dyk embryo in, in this uh, from this uh, embryo specific cells are isolated that isolated cells can be grown into specific specific tissues that so that is called as the specification in this conditional specification oh what happened for example this is the uh, plastula this in this plastula uh, uh, it having the three different red color blue color and uh, sandal color biscuit color that is three type of uh, present in the uh, blastula we want to replacing the uh, particular color specific blastula uh, uh, cell normal black cells so they are transplant to the uh, the back from back into the particular uh, the belly region so in this normal blastula that red color red, that uh, tissues are present at top of the uh, top of the uh, animal uh, but the transplanted transplanted tissues uh, transplanted cells having the uh, red color region tissues in the other uh, belly region okay this is the uh, conditional specifically they are giving the condition okay this uh, results need to be grown into particular this portion this is conditional specification and it is autonomous it's a human body uh, the cell fate is determined by the fertilization fertilization uh, my fertilization by morphogenetic determinants in ova the morphogenetic determinants uh, what is the morphogenetic determinants that is more, more is uh, mrna or protein that causes cellular commitment that cell that protein is having the signal okay this cell can be uh, specified specified for the uh, cell cell differentiation um this mosaic development what are the term is the mosaic development embryo function that uh, it like a mosaic of the independent cell differentiation part every each and every cells are developed into uh, the differentiating parts this essential specification here uh, um, the essential formation means the cell cell communication uh, that uh, nucleus uh, unconditionally multiplied uh, in the cytoplasm that uh, morphogen may be the gradient within the cytoplasm it reach it having the specific quantity that uh, specific level that is the essential uh, uh, specification happens when uh, when the cell cell interact uh, with each other with specific signals that cells are that similar cells are then and form the tissues that is the uh, essential specification then 
we under we are this is the basic in uh, after the specification now we are specification after this uh, differential understand differentiation understanding we are entered to uh, the condition commitment that is the specification after the specification that cells undergone the different determination and differentiation what is the differentiation and determination already we discussed about uh, that in that in this differentiation uh, in the first step is uh, determination only one region can develop into different region that different re cells are specifically uh, grown uh, grow, grow, uh, develop differentiate into tissues that is a determination is a random process differentiation is a specific process here are uh, a comparison table uh it's a very a very important concept understanding table the cell di uh, differentiation occur at the totipotent and embryonic cell one very very important com uh, uh thing is the the determination happen in the totipotent cells whether the cells are have uh, totipotent or not is determined by the determinant compounds determinant compounds are the cell signaling proteins okay uh, they are in their uh, experimental question csr question they are given the examples with the uh, n uh, give example given the example and explain the, the same step okay specification determination differentiation these are all the three important terms happen in the uh, developmental biology so this basic concept uh, is role playing in the question understanding uh, because many of the uh, questions are looks big that is having a, a paragraph but that answer is very very simple uh, just read the question with this basic concept that imagine imagine like imagine the question with this basic concept okay then uh, that in this determination the result of the asymmetric segregation of cytoplasmic determinant asymmetric segregation of cytoplasmic determinant determinants but differentiation is a gene expression okay after the uh, the comparison it's assign the fate okay you you want to do this this cell want to do this this cell want to do this they are assigning okay but uh, the differentiation the functional specialization okay uh, after the det uh, determines the for this capacity in this differentiation process that cell develop this specific activity okay this cell want to develop into hot tissue that is determined determined by cell determination step after the determination uh, that uh, specific cell differentiate into hot tissue these are the steps happen in cell development differentiation and de determination and differentiation after the embryo determination happen after the uh, embryo embryonic cell development as a uh, with the specific characterization out of the specification that is entered into the differentiation is here happen so the differentiation happen with different uh, concept that is the uh, cyto cellular differentiation this uh, cellular dif cellular differentiation uh, is uh, explained with uh, this image first the cell having the uh, potency of uh, a totipotent embryonic cell that uh, totipotent embryonic cell means that can develop into various organs that uh, three are produced into endoderm mesoderm and ectoderm this three type of cells are having the multipotent okay this multipotent tissues are uh, differentiate into various organs 
this is uh, so this is the first step i want to tell but this is a theory just about the cytoplasmic determination uh this is a cytoplasmic determination because the understand this image after uh, this uh, uh cycle that uh, in the use of unfertilized egg uh, after allowing this uh, uh cytoplasmic uh, sperm sperm into sperm nucleus to the egg egg nucleus now that is called as the fertilized egg normally the unfertilized are having the nucleus that nucleus is uh, uh, that cells that uh, cell cycles are allowing the uh, nucleus of that sperm cell that is called called as the fertilized egg that is cycled after that uh, uh, after this stage that is called uh, that is enter into the mitotic cell division cell division uh, it's a two cell embryo it's a very important stage in uh, cytoplasmic determinant cytoplasmic determinant alone developing the two cell embryo development uh, so for the cytoplasmic determinant we want a mrna protein and other signaling this other signaling have after this after this uh, signal receiving from the external cells that embryonic uh, that cycle develop into two cell embryo two cell embryo happen with the cytoplasmic determinant uh, then only uh, develop in, that is differentiate into various uh, various organs okay morphogen gradient what is morphogen gradient i think uh, it is understandable okay uh this morphogen gradient having the uh, specific uh, this is a uh, intermediate step of determination and differentiation after the cytoplasmic polarity based on the cytoplasmic polarity that cells are uh, hung back protein gradient based on the hung hung back protein protein gradient that are developed into various cells so that cytoplasmic polarity uh, this is a various step there is a the protein gradient formation then gap gaps in ga, gaps in gene then a sub pair rule gene pair rule that uh, similar cells are a pair in the uh psychotic psycho in psychot then fourth the next step is the cellular blastoderm when the bla uh, cellular blastoderm the segment polarity gene is uh the forming the specific hematopo ha hematotic hematotic genes essential process the multi uh potent having cell that is a cytoplasm observing the information cell signaling from the a similar uh, expressing cells that cells form into specific uh, morphogen gradient this based on the gradient alone the cells uh, are differentiated into tissues and organs okay this is the morphogen um, concentration based experiment they are experimental uh, this information is very uh, uh, interesting and very understandable okay first at the zero time that is no morphogen concentration right uh, morphogen that is a particular fruit uh, Uh, then morphogen is uh, in, after one or it, this uh, uh, cell is producing some uh, low quantity morphogen in a low quantity uh, that uh, that is an embryo that uh, after the receiving of signal from morphogen the activated smart that is seeing the uh, smart smart compound that is for gene production gene expression uh, so that is produced in the nuclear 
the expression of uh, gene is higher in the uh, uh, higher in the gene higher in the particular cell after the two are it become high uh, in the stage that uh, that whole cells are uh, occupied with the smart concentration if the concentration of i that uh, the gene expression of it's also high in the uh, specific cell the next concept is uh, uh, if explained with the the starting high with higher concentration after the particular period that uh, gene uh, a is over over uh, that is morphed with uh, gene b because gene b is over expressed after the particular two uh, four four third there is no morphogen there for signaling uh, that is reaching the positive feedback okay uh, there there is enough gene production happen in this cell so please stop the uh, addition of uh, morphogen that organ is uh, genetic uh, the signaling these are all the happen in uh, morphogen morphogens are helps to express the protein for specific uh, uh, cell tissues production Uh, this is another example uh, with uh, because various tissues uh, the skin oral tissues are uh, crossing many stages surface uh, stage tissue specification genital stage and differentiated cells this differentiated cells form the parts of body uh, here um uh, the i am uh, including this for uh, just explaining what is the uh, role of the dendritic cell and uh, pre stem cell and oh, after the stem cell formation okay that's pre stem cell program linear establishing or happen in the cell uh, here uh, the cell linear age is a concept in the cell linearage process that cell is developedly developed to different uh, characterized cells one is cdx2 character one other is fg fgf this uh, multipotent cell okay that is fixed yeah, you need to produce this alone this cell you, know, you need to develop into this cell this cell cell Maintenance. That is maintenance uh, that uh, is they are identifying the multi multipotential the multipotential is a ts that can be produced into any type of cell okay next one is that one uh, the pluripotent and multipotent here multipotent cells can differentiate into any organ pluripotent cells can develop into specific organs why i am said that pluripotent uh, multipotent concept in this uh, slide means na stem cells stem cells are major uh, thing uh, involved in the or uh, developmental biology you are all know i think uh, uh, as a as a life science people uh, all of them understand all of them having the knowledge about the stem cell Uh, the one still can be developed into blood cell neurons livers everything uh, in the stem cell development we have four different step totipotent cell pluripotent cell multipotent cell nullipotent cell okay what is the cell uh, how it is uh, uh, grouped into how into how it is uh, classified in the zygote stage that is having the totipotent capable of giving uh, rise to all cell type of body giving rise to all type all it can be developed into all type of this cells another thing is a pluripotent it capable to rise uh, all cell type of body uh, the uh, in this uh, uh, pluripotent cell it is the determine the cell okay this cell want to develop this kind of cells uh, tissues that is the fixed one 
another one is the multipotential it can be developed into any tissue organ then nullipotential is not able to gives any cell type after reaching this uh, to nullipotential that cell not able to produce any tissues it depends on the age uh, the age of the embryo in the embryonic stem cell at the uh, zero to two week that is called as totipotent less than 100 cells are alone in the uh, are uh, in the human cell system uh, ovary zero to two weeks that is only uh, will uh, uh, hundred cells are there in ovary. After reaching the five to eighth period, the embryo having the pluripotent. Okay, this can be grow into various cells. In that stage, more than cells, one thousand cells are there. And then nine to fourteenth week, there is uh, uh, more than the ten lakh cells are in present in the uh, developed in uh, ovary. That cells are having the specific organ characters. That is a bone. That may be the cartilage. That may be the skin. Uh, that is that was the developed uh, uh, partially developed uh, human body is that. Then after uh, uh, that is called as after forming of all organs. That is called as the adult stem cell. I think it's understandable. Uh, it's an uh, uh, stem cell therapy. That is stem cell development. Embryonic stem cell, embryonic fetal, fetal, and adult stem cells. These are all the four steps. Uh, four steps. And that okay. Another I, I forgot to tell. Uh, this uh, week's cell count, potency, and embryonic stem cell name. These four are important for. The CSAR examination because they are given the exam cell count and men men mention the potency, asking like that kind of questions are there in uh, CSAR examination or the the maybe the match the following it may be the paragraph like question. This is about the vaccine technology. Uh, oh sorry, uh, stem cell technology. Uh, in the stem cell technology. Uh, one cell, we, they, in the outcome of uh, this uh, stem cell technology, that patient, the AD patients, the uh, Alzheimer disease, I think so, that patients want to get memory. They are lost the memory. They need to. Memory cells are not able to grow after a particular period. So, uh, in this, uh, using of this stem cell uh, technology, they are uh, taken all these stem, stem cells, that kind of stem cells that are developed into programming and developed into uh, pluripotent cell. After the induction of pluripotent, that is grown in the well laboratory scale, that is a battery plate. After that, okay, this cell can be uh, developed as a neuron that form a drug, form drug like a stuck injected into human brain, that person uh, get the capability of uh, developing the neuron system. It's a one way, that is an artificial way. Somatic cell, sudden uh, embryo programming, induction of pluripotent, after that it render into... Uh, another thing is that naturally happen. Naturally, natural cells are, natural stem cells are the uh, na natural progenitor cells, natural progenitor cells forming the neurons uh, and glial cells. That cells are replaced replacement therapy. And they are using that uh, uh, they are in they are injected the developed cell into their brain. Then genomic equal equivalence. After this are uh, now we are in. And capability of development organ in this genomic equivalence, so they are having the uh, instruction. Okay, after receiving the uh, uh, acceptance, that want to develop into various organs. That various organs are explained based on 
न्यूक्लियस कैपेबिलिटी ओके जीनोमिक इन दिस जीनोमिक इक्वलेंस दैट एवरी सेल्स आर हैविंग द आर टेकिंग इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ डोनर न्यूक्लियस Various various models were used to explain how the cell cell division lead to differentiation. It's in a uh, nuclear determinant or division, and resulting is a unequal nucleic. It should happen. So in this in this representation image of uh, uh, genomic equivalence. That is want to be in equal and otherwise the cells are misleaded. To the genome equivalence, okay, we are receiving the uh, correct quantity of uh, genetic information, the correct quantity of cells. Then imprinting. What is imprinting? That is similar to the next uh, the first generation. Uh, mother cells having the similar daughter cells uh, in this genome imprinting we have two different type one is a maternal and one is a parental maternal uh, imprinting is the that uh, both uh, aa and capital small a they are uh, capital a is a male and another one is a female um, that uh, that For next generation, it's the first generation. Next generation, we it's a progenic, progenic only. Express us uh, that's uh, that uh, the male uh, Ali. They are asking many questions about this topic. Uh, so please listen. Genome imprinting having two different type. One is a maternal imprinting, another one is a parental imprinting. In this uh, maternal imprinting. uh that cell having that uh, first generation cells are uh, develop having the major for the dad character because dad is a black one uh so this uh, next generation that is daughter cells are having only that having only the dad character then parental imprinting in in the in this uh, expressed on the uh, uh, both are having the similar activity but size of that is vary that based on the first one is the color based allele another one is the uh, size based allele that uh, one is one uh, the uh, next so in the second generation the daughter having the similar cat for the uh, mother because the height the height is also height and color also similar to mother but uh, the male male having the similar color of the mother and similar size of the so that male having both character of the mother and father first in this parental imprinting the male having the color of the mother and size father so this called as the parental imprinting i think it's understandable parental imprinting uh, understand the concept based on the concept of uh so please understand one time i will repeat maternal imprinting is the character based one that uh, character uh, that any one of the parent character that may be the uh, dad character that may be the mother character in this uh, uh, first maternal imprinting they are express only the mother character uh, father character sorry in this first image maternal imprinting the second first second generation that is uh, the daughter and son having the similar character to the father so, uh, there is a suppression of 
the uh, particular uh, mother character so it's called as the maternal another one is the parental imprinting this in in this image second image uh, second generation having the girl having the same color and image uh, size of mother as son having the color of mother and size of the father so it is a parental imprinting that having the both mother and uh, uh, mother and father characters so it's called as the okay uh, it's a it's an another one example with the laboratory technique laboratory experiment what is the mutated how can we explain it? it's a mutated mother determine the mutated uh, mutated mouse mutated gene it's a normal size mouse wild type it's a uh, small one it's a mutant in this mutant cell uh, they are uh, having the expression of igf2 in the normal cell but in the mu uh, after the mutation uh, this is not happened i not expressed in the particular cell uh, but the gene is in the normal cell uh, igl is not exp also not, not expressed because why here the color change ha they are uh, indicating means in a normal cell there is the igf allele that is the normal allele that is for response for this shape size but in the mutant cell that is the replaced one okay the next step of the mutation that cells are lacking of the mutant expression so normal gene is expressed in the uh, mutants mean mu expressed in the mutation determination this is the four example it's a mother mother one the father one if the next two to this uh, step after uh, uh, the mute the father and mother uh, gene expression uh, that is enter into the uh, developmental stage okay the first is imprinting raised in the uh, here the, that may you may erase this character or may this erase this character uh, happen in the first step uh, enter into the parental imprinting okay that after the erasement erasing that may that gene may have the parental character the mother character or may have the for the father character uh, that for after reaching this uh, matter it may be the parental imprinting or it may be the uh, maternal imprinting after re reaching this uh, uh, the sperm and uh, psychotus enter in, or the oocytes enter into the or sperm enter into the oocytes that form the psychot after the psychot formation that uh, blastocells are have uh, developed the after this blastocell development the embryo will uh, form uh, another one example for the mutant and determination here the mutant determination questions are very majorly asked the questions in a uh, uh, csr questions please understand and i'll send some uh, materials for mutant and mutant related part understand the ex uh, questions which mutant alleles are imprinted uh, here there is um, here it's a you know, maternal uh, the, like look like mother it's look like the father so mutant allele imprinted no phenotype no there is no phenotype uh, it's a mutant here this uh, specific mutant uh, male in a, in a normal there's a combination one the normal one is active and one allele is imprint uh, here this happen some uh, imprint right one is imprinted uh, here the mother is muted so normal allele imprinted mutant phenotype because mother character is a major one because uh, that is the oocyte and oocyte character uh, so here that uh, mutant if there is a mutant female normal allele imprint happen in the phenotype 
mutated mutated female involved in the uh, phygot formation the normal allele imprinted mutant as a phenotype okay after this uh, mutation happen because uh, it mutations uh, stem cell formations are happen in the differentiation a determination step it want to be developed into organs that may be the uh, uh, that after the development we can engineer the uh, we can engineering the uh, cells after understanding right each and every step you are all understand it in this till this slide okay so till this slide you are all understand what happen in the human cell so only uh, here they are engineering the uh, psychot engineering the gene uh, they are modifying at the earlier stage so that is called as transgenic transgenesis this transgenic process we have the different different uh, terms that is a chimeric animal knockout mutation what is a chimeric animal that can be carry an alter gene induced introduce using the manipulated embryonic stem that uh, it can be carry an altered altered gene it having altered gene introduce into the manipulated embryonic stem cells uh, then another one term is uh, knockout mutation In this knockout mutation uh there is a replacement of cell okay uh, it's happened by the homologous recombination here uh, uh, the how uh, after the mutation transgenesis transgenesis means it may be a mutation it may be alternation it may anything or happen in the transgenesis how can we determine this so there are some examples are there uh, uh here here first one is uh, Uh, parental one here uh, flp is a uh, recombination recombination uh, uh, material after the recombination you can uh, see the uh, homologous mutation happen okay same site same place mutation happen so that is called as a homologous mutant homologous uh, wild type wild type means it having both character this uh, wild type character another one is the heterologous one stand one gene altered at one particular place another gene is altered at the another place this are all the heterologous here am an alteration happen in one place next strand alteration happens in another another stage the homologous and heterologous uh, uh, heterologous mutation is uh, another important term and conditions have in involved in the developmental biology it's uh, just another examination uh, these are all the exam type questions uh, uh, how they are involved okay uh, the production of gametes in the, in the now it's uh, full of the uh, explanation about uh, the production of gametes product after, oh, after we first we understand the what happen in the cell development now we are enter into the uh, the production of gametes first cell first step is a mitotic division second step is a uh, meiosis meiotic division in this uh, way steps are, are happened for cell division okay these are all the steps involved in the sperm entering into the oocyte uh this uh, this is uh, the cell surface receptor based signaling the this cell surface oocyte cell surface having some receptor to receiving the signals from the uh, sperm cell sperm cell makes a contact with the egg by the receptor binding uh, that is the acrosome that is called as the acrosome then a second step is the acrosome react with the sono pellucida that uh, makes some uh, release of the cytoplasmic uh, particle after the release of the cytoplasmic particle that particle damaging the cell surface of oocytes that is a hydrostatic enzyme that hydrostatic enzymes are interact with the cell surface receptor and make the uh, uh, make the interaction with the oocyte 
then third step is agrosome react with the uh, perivite uh, peri line space that is the, the intracellular space that having many protein receptor that protein receptor interact with the uh, cell surface receptors of uh, uh, that uh, sperm cells then entering of plasma membrane of sperm and egg fuse now that uh, after reaching the intracellular region that are uh, releasing that are removed from removed from uh, the external cellular region that external cellular regions are degraded by the uh, proteins present in the intracellular of oocytes the sperm nucleus enter into the RA, uh, oocyte eggs after uh, this oocyte eggs are uh, then finally step the cortical granules are fused with the egg plasma membrane which membrane render water line layer okay uh, this after this step the sperm enter into the nucleus uh, these are all the sequential steps happen in the fertilization it's an another representation okay next is embryo development embryo development as uh, having the different uh, different step first is the uh, endosperm uh, one one sperm fertilization center and initiate the endosperm development after that uh, that fertilized egg formation it's produce zygote then the cell division happen first is endosperm endosperm initiation fertilization zygote formation and embryonic cell formation these are all the happen in the embryonic cells uh, this is the step by step process uh, first wall of uh, ovary entry nucleus present in the uh, uh, ovary that uh, allowing the enter of sperm cells into the nucleus after entering in of uh, entering of sperm nucleus to oocytes that forms the in, uh, that allowing the meiosis process so four haploid cell formation it's a very important step after the meiosis process happen in the uh, st uh, human cell that is developed into four haploid cells that four haploid cells are forming the embryo sac uh, the, the the three three cell generator three cell generation cell first one is a two cell generation then another is uh, another is a three cell gener degeneration that de de cell generation is happen with the embryo the mitosis happen in the mitosis happen with the three times that three types after this three types the embryo sac with the eight haploids eight haploid nucleus uh, that that uh, having the two polar nucleus this two polar nucleuses are uh, having the uh, this formula if uh, one polar nuclei present in the cell that is developed into a uh, egg each and every polar nucleus are developed into egg cells the only one egg cell is a finally uh, enter into the fertilization process these are all the sequential steps first one is a meiosis four haploid cell formation three, three cell degeneration first is the two cell generation another is a three cell degeneration so one embryo formed in the sac one embryo sac is formed after that three times mitosis happen in the cell after this uh, that from uh, the embryonic sac with the eight haploid nucleus that eight haploid nucleus having uh, two polar nuclei that uh, two polar nuclei showing the uh, forming the egg cell is another one concept the double fertilization double fertilization uh, happen in the uh, plant this is about the double fertilization happen in the plant uh, here uh, first we want to understand the parts of uh, the uh, fertilization parts of the plants the anti portals polar polar nuclei and uh, egg uh, cells synergy sites first thing is a release of sperm cells into the uh, the oocytes so 
yes uh, that and after the entry there was a new two nucleus are present on the uh, uh, oocyte nucleus that forming the two cycote two nucleus are there in the entered in the uh, oocyte nucleus so there is the two oocyte uh, cycotes are formed so double population happen in the plant then cycote formation in this cycote formation uh, four different stages are there uh, the, he, this corona is not uh, uh, disease this is a structure it's a, uh, like a movement movement is called as the corona uh, radiata zona pellucida uh, then uh, penetration uh, then male pro nucleus uh, formation it's a metaphase plates it's on a stay, day by day uh, improvement of cells For day one is a one cell two cell formation day two four cells day three uh, the eight cell formation day four is a more uh, more formation day five is the plast plastocyte formation after that is a uh, after this step alone uh, it's implementation okay day one day two but uh, so after the fifth day alone it implement at the uh, in the ovarian uh, path it, then after the its cleavage it's called as the rapid cell division uh, this rapid cell division happened uh, after the cycote formation uh, the, the, the cleavage happened in every step in the, here that eight cell stage after the eight cell stage is rapidly uh, cell divided divided into the blastula that blastula uh, having the internal space castulation this castulation is a very important thing in the uh, gas cleavage and castulations are both are most important term in the uh, cell development here uh, uh, eight uh, the after the eight cells to eight cell stage that uh, di divided and rapidly form the blastula uh, after the blastula uh, in the blastula for forming uh, like a, one structure that structure having the castulation region that is called as gastula okay here uh, we having this blastula formation example uh why that uh, one minute okay uh, these are all about the cleavage experiment here uh, this uh, in this uh, uh, cell development first is the the somatis development gilly cell development pre free limb cell development that are the development of the cells here some of the important terms are there in uh, it's the most important thing uh, I, I i wish to take i wish to take one four, five more minutes please be uh, patient uh, because i'm this is the uh, very important uh, topic about the cell development so only i am uh, give the uh more important first thing is the ectoderm ectoderm is the outer cell surface of the blastula outer cell surface another is the endoderm ectoderm is the outer cell surface ectoderm is the internal path into very bar it's a very barus for brain induction then outer membrane having the uh, anterior the anterior is called as anterior that is a head specific then activation transformation period uh, have the uh, posterior we have the posterior the posterior is the retinoic acid uh, that having the retinoic acid in the another part is the trosal mesoderm ectoderm endoderm trosal mus mesoderm mesoderm is uh, present on the blastocytes uh, there another is called called as a gastrulation already i am told right 
gaseous process that establishing the three germ layers because of this after finishing this step that is a, a, a full full uh, uh, blastula right that want to be develop into various organs so that this gastrulation process forming three steps uh, three parts endoderm ectoderm mesoderm is a endoderm is a inner part ectoderm is outer part in between them we have the mesoderm meso mesoderm is a development of this only development into organ the exo ectoderm forms the exoskeleton uh, important thing ecto ectoderm is forming the external skeleton mesoderm forming the organs endoderm is forming the uh, li leaning uh, inner lining organs inner lining means uh, uh, specific inner lining organs the layer are two layers okay uh, this are the important things uh, uh, here i am uh, blastula the gastrula formulation another is uh, the gastrula form gastrula is uh, gastrulation forming the uh, various uh, three differentiation the ectoderm endoderm and the uh, blast mesoderm external ectoderm forming the skeleton skeleton outer skeleton in the uh, endo uh, endo term forming the inner linear inner line of uh, organs we set them forming into organs various organs these are the three germ lines uh, these are the, uh, the different cells are forming in the uh, various uh, lines various this ectoderm formed as a ep epidermal skins epithelial lines uh, mouth nerve systems mesoderms forming the skeleton muscles uh, organs epithelial cells endoderm inner layer that cells are forming the respiratory tract that is a very very urinary bladders the endoderm is the inner layer it's a very very important uh, 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 region because it can produce as a uh, major organs another example pectoral examination uh, in this uh, in, in this uh, exam it's a very uh, development of the embryonic cells uh, this, uh, this is a stage now it's a, another thing happen uh what is uh, symmetric in the plant how they establish uh, establishment of symmetric in the plant plants leaves are look like similar uh first is the lateral mediator and this uh, based on this uh, uh pre mod pre mod modium in this pre modium they are developing the leaf that leaf is uh, uh that is the th first stage is the lateral the second stage is the primordium third step is the developmental of leaves in the in uh, then that uh, developed leaves or uh, uh, are having the uh, dessel structure dessel structure this is the establishment of symmetric in uh, plant we have some more example i will explain in the Uh, i will i will give a note process first up is a founder cell requirement okay this cell want to be developed that is a first is a first step three axon establishment okay uh, we want to develop into three different uh, shapes that one step two step three step okay three axes uh, establishment that the blade initiation uh, after the blade uh, is in the blade is uh, initiation we have the petiole and uh, blade first blade expansion first blade expansion is here okay here in this portion we, that cells are allotted okay we want to develop next up the next blade first blade second blade third blade right these are the steps then seed formation 
seed formation and seeds germination the seed formation is a basic for a basic thing if you have a 2 n of zygote here we have a 3 n of endo nucleus endosperm nucleus it's a concept we need 2 n 2 n zygote and 3 n uh, endosperm the zygote grows rapidly in a mitosis to form the embryo the embryo consists of the plumule plumule is the future shoot uh, shoot formation things are very important in the seed formation shoot formation and the root formation another one is the food stores needs to germination we need the source foods right that the cotyl cotyledons that are called as cotyledons the plumules are shoots radial are food stores uh, um, remember this plumules are the shoot radial are root and the cotyledons are the the storages uh, this formations having the two different stage endosperm as uh, seed and the non endosperm as piece this are the two differentiations between the endosperm as piece germination and non endosperm as seed germination in this having the uh, the presence of absent uh, the presence of and present and absence of endosperm we having the in this type uh, food is no what stored in the cotyledon uh, but the non endospermic the uh, food is stored in the cotyledon the cotyledon is within the thin layer and properly arranged the got the here the endospermic seeds are uh, thick and uh, freshly formed in in the endospermic seed formulation seed formation uh, the perisperm does not develop from nucleus but the non endospermic seed the nucleus very very important thing it's a basic concept but you want to remember okay examples for the non endos endospermic seeds are bean uh, pie and uh, uh, then uh, non endospermic seeds so are uh, my mice and uh, uh, castor okay seed germination it's uh, another uh, final example for seeds seed germination this in this seed germination we have different uh, uh, example first one is a garden bean garden bean is a hypocotyledon hypocotyl that is uh, red, uh, the that having the radical after development of that cotyledons cotyledons are uh, developed are uh, developed and uh, fo foliage leaves are formed after the foliage leaf the epic cotyl and uh, hypocotyl are developed in from the cotyledon from that cotyledon stage two, two different are formed that is the epic cotyl and hypocotyl in the corn uh, the coli oryza is a uh, seed that having different the coleopetal and radical these two are developed in the uh, foliage leaf what is the difference between multipotent and nullipotent multipotent cells having the ability to develop into any organs nulli null, nullipotent cells not able to develop that are a uh, uh, fixed one that is inter uh, igf means interleukin like growth factors that growth factors are in, useful for uh, cell development thank you everyone thank you so much for your patience uh, tomorrow we will see uh, at 6 am thank you